right, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to show you how to make a truss uh, to be laser cut out and assembled using the VEX screws and standoffs so we can uh, smash them. So the constraints we have, it's got to be not, it has to be nine inches from center to center of support where the standoff is going to go, uh, maximum height of three inches, and it needs to have this loading point in the middle. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make something similar or at least go through the process in Inventor. All right, so we already have Inventor open. We're going to open up a new part file. And once we're there, we'll start our 2D sketch. Come in here. I'm going to do everything around these axes right here so I can eventually mirror it. I'm going to put it on points. So I'm going to start with my points first. These are anywhere where I'm going to have joints. So once I have the first two in, I'm going to just dimension them so I have my scale. All right, well, I know that's going to be three inches at that middle. And I need to have this one in. It's going to be symmetrical. And now I'm going to put in a couple more. I'm just going to do something like this. So that's uh, basics of that. I'm going to dimension from here to here. So I know that I have my 4.5 inches or it could be a total of nine. So I'm just going to stick with these. If you have certain specs that you want to use, fine, go use them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the actual joints. So these are the point, center points of the joints. I'm going to go in. We know that these have to be 0.5. And then we can figure that out by going to the drawing. It says the radius of 0.25 or diameter of 0.5. And let's just draw them in. Okay, so now once we have these, we hit OK, finish sketch. And then we are going to extrude these. We're using three millimeter Baltic birch, so we'll do three mm. Select all of them. There we go, hit OK. Now we're gonna start a 2D sketch. Uh, you could do it two ways. You could do it right on the surface of these. It's easy, it's there. And we are going to draw in lines. These are construction lines. And we also need to project the geometry. So project geometry, construction. So we have the center points back in. Now I'm going to go to line, make sure construction is still hit. And we're going to draw individual line segments from center point to center point. That one looked a little weird. this so there we go so that is the basic layout of my truss it probably will look similar to what you have even in MD solids now what we're gonna do is because we have these I'm gonna go in and draw each member I'm gonna use a three-point center rectangle and when I come over to it I can get that midpoint then I can come down to one of the endpoints and it doesn't matter which one I use all right so I use this one click and now I'm going to go 0.125. Now you can change your cross-sectional area. Remember, we have a constraint that's in the document for this, um, for this trust building uh, test that we're going to be doing. I'm using 0.125. Now, what I forgot to do is I forgot to take off the construction. So I'm just going to hit back, take off construction. So let's go back to this, Got my center point. Two, five. And I'm going to do this for every single, whoop, every single one I'm going to do that for. An easy way to dimension them also is once you get this, drag out. You can actually um, click on another dimension. So I can click on, so once I click here, I can just go point one two five. You can click on it and then click on one of these. So I can go this. So whatever this dimension is here, it's gonna make that one the same. You could do that as well. So they could be all functions of each other. Almost there. Seems a little tedious, but it is the best way of doing it. All right, 
now I have those. We're gonna go to finish sketch, go into extrude, and you need to select every one of them. Selected. Now here, you notice they're going the wrong way, so we'll swap the direction, and you need to make sure that it adds the material in, <clears throat> and hit okay. So that is one half of our truss. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go onto here, project geometry. Of those, we'll do, um, let's see, project geometry, construction again. Might be able to, yep, as long as we get those center points to show up, we're good to go. Hit finish sketch, and if we use the hole tool, you can then click every one of those. And let's take a look at the other truss. That's gotta be a 0.175 diameter. So I go here, 0.175. And that looks like it's good to go. Hit the check mark, and now I have the holes. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror this whole thing. Go to mirror plane. Features, we got the, we have to select that, that, this, make sure everything's selected. Mirror plane, we can go to our origin. There it is, hit okay. And now I have a finished truss. There it is, it's ready to go. Now once here, we'll make sure we're gonna save it. So let's go save, uh, let's go let's just truss trial, there we go. We're gonna go to start, sorry, we're gonna go to a new standard drawing. We are going to change the sheet, so we go edit sheet, size A, hit OK, delete the border, delete the title block. So we have a blank sheet. We're going to put in a, the base of a one-to-one -one scale, so it's just like this. And I'm going to position it close to the top here, just like that, on shading off. Good, good. Hit OK. I'm then going to place another one in, just like it. One to one scale. Oops. One. Bring this down. I want to position it so they fit nice and close together. Now, once I have this, save that. I'm going to go to File, Export, PDF. And that PDF that's generated, we can now send directly to the laser cutter. Now, it looks like we got, this might be a slight issue here. Looks like these dark lines, I'm not really sure what they are. I don't know if it's just, uh, yeah, the dark lines are nothing. It's just the way it was zoomed in. It's just something going on with the actual PDF. That's it, looks pretty good. Let's go take a look at this. Yeah, these are all nice lines right here from what it was. You can zoom in, double check. But yeah, now this will get emailed to me or shared with me or we'll submit it on Google Classroom and then we'll get laser cut and we'll be able to assemble them right away. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this little series on how to make the truss for our next project. Take care. Bye.